Duy Khang xin kính chào quý vị. Bữa nay trong studio mình hân hạnh được có bà Tổng trưởng Mary In, uh, Bộ trưởng của uh, uh, Tiểu Thương mại và Sản xuất. Xin uh, mời uh, Tổng trưởng Mary In. Hello, Minister In. Hi, great Calvin. to have you in the, the office today. Calvin, it's so great to be here. It's great to talk to, uh, you know, to, uh, to your audience. I'm the Minister of Small Business and Export Promotion for Canada, so I'm a federal cabinet minister. And my job is to help Canadian businesses start up, scale up and access new markets. And um, recently, Canada has entered into uh, the CPTPP, so it's a trade agreement. It's a trade agreement with the Trans-Pacific uh, Partnership, which is a number of countries in the Asia Pacific, in the Pacific Rim countries, Vietnam being one of them. Canada, of course, uh, ratified the CPTPP in January of this year, in 2019. So it means that we are happily uh, working with uh, countries as part of the CPTPP to increase our exports and to increase trade with those countries, including Vietnam. It's fantastic. So now that the CPP has been ratified, like what does that mean for small businesses and medium-sized businesses in Canada? Well, it means that uh, it's opening up markets for our Canadian businesses. Just to give you a sense of, uh, of what we're talking about, in Canada, 99% of all of our businesses are small and medium-sized enterprises. But yet, only 12% export, and they are largely exporting to one marketplace, which is, you know, to the United States. 70% of that 12% is exporting to the United States. And yet, Canada has access to 60% of the world's economy. So what does that actually mean in trade agreements? Trade agreements means customers for our Canadian businesses. So my job is to help our Canadian businesses become more export ready so that when they're growing their businesses, they're also growing them by accessing those international customers and by working with uh, customers and investors in, you know, in those countries where we have trade agreements with. And like I said, Vietnam is one of them. Perfect. Now, um, as we do have these business opportunities popping up, like what is the government doing to help small businesses? Many things. Um, you know, I always say my job is to help businesses start up, scale up and access new markets. Um, I'm actually going to take this opportunity to plug something that uh, that we just put together uh, for our Canadian businesses. The reason we created this is to um, be responsive to small business owners and entrepreneurs who don't have a lot of time. The government provides a lot of services, but it's in different places, right? So if you're looking to trade and export, mm -hmm. you need to go to one part of the government. If you're looking for a loan or where to get capital, you go to another place. If you're a female entrepreneur, you go to yet another place. If you're looking to get IP protection so that you are, you know, so that you're, so you're protecting your yeah. IP, yeah. all of these things, you go to different, like you're going to different websites. So how does a, and you need to know sometimes the names of the programs, right? This is really simple. Um, it basically says, what, I want to start my business. So yes. when you're starting your business, uh -huh. how do I find my licenses and permits? How do I uh, incorporate my business? Okay. How do I, uh, you know, file my reports or name my business? So okay. this is a really easy walkthrough from the standpoint of a small business or an entrepreneur. Or someone who really has an idea but nothing else. That's right. Yeah. So exactly, you know, there's, uh, you know, your front page says, what's new, right? What's new? How do I finance my business? How do I find permits and licenses? How do I hire employees and manage employees? Okay. How do I file my taxes? I want to I want to do import and export. How do I do that? Or how do I engage with the government? So there's so all of, you know, so each of these is built specifically with a small business in mind. So it basically thinks about the kinds of questions that you have and then it just guides you through. So if you want to finance your business, then, um, you know, are you a women owned business? Are you an indigenous owned business? Are you a clean tech business? So there are like, there are, there are different, there's different information and different programs and different investments for that su really support small businesses. So that's why we put this together. We wanted to basically bring the government to uh, small businesses. I've met with over 5,000 businesses across the country, small businesses, you know, those businesses that have, you know, anywhere less than 100 employees, many that are less than 20 employees. Small businesses don't have time. I grew up in my own small business. So, you know, when we first came to Canada, my parents immigrated to Canada and um, they were entrepreneurs and they started a small business. In fact, I worked in a restaurant for many years of uh, my life growing up. But what I learned from that experience is that small businesses 
Small business owners don't have that time. So what we want to do is make it easier for small businesses to get access to the services and the supports that government is offering to them. So I want to plug Canada Business because I want our small businesses to get the resources and the information that they need. But I also want to say to small businesses that this government is a small business friendly government. We have reduced taxes to 9%. Our small business tax rate is among the lowest in the world and that means that it gives businesses extra at the end of the year to reinvest in their business. Perfect. So, um, as we know, uh, Canada is one of the most diverse uh, countries in the world and that's one of our strengths. Uh, what is the government doing to help increase our diversity in the workforce, in, in the small business uh, field? Like, I know that we have a, a goal to double the women in the small business field by 2025. Mm -hmm. How are we going about that? So, um, I'm so thrilled that you're asking this question. Um, you know, I shared the statistic earlier that all our businesses in Canada, the small and medium sized businesses make up 99% of all businesses. They're really important, but the only 16% of businesses are women owned or women led, and we can do a lot better. It isn't because it's just the right thing to do. Of course it is adding women into the Canadian economy, but here's the business case for it. I lead a $2 billion strategy. It's the first ever women's entrepreneurship strategy in this country. The goal that the Prime Minister has given to me is to double the number of female entrepreneurs by 2025. But you know what we're going to get for that? We can add up to $150 billion to the Canadian economy just by adding women into the economy. Just to give you a sense of what women contribute today, the 16% of female-owned, female-led uh, businesses in Canada, they contribute $150 billion now to the Canadian economy. They create over, they actually employ over 1.5 million Canadians. So imagine doubling that by 2025. So it is a really excellent goal and it is one that we are working, that I am working with businesses across the country to help support the growth of women entrepreneurs in our country. There's a lot of, uh, of new and up and coming things that I, I feel that we should be excited about. Mm -hmm. um, other than the things that we were speaking of, is there anything else that, um, you know, any surprises, any goodies that you can share with us? Yeah, you know what, you also asked the question about, uh, about newcomers and about young people. I mean, we believe that if we are able to enable and to support a greater growth of businesses uh, in the Canadian marketplace, then it's going to help create great Canadian jobs and uh, it's going to, you know, those great Canadian jobs uh, are, you know, great employers for, uh, you know, for people who work throughout the country. So programs like Futurepreneur, where we are actually helping newcomers. Newcomers get access to loans to start their business that they may traditionally might have some difficulty with a traditional lender uh, getting loans. So we're helping newcomer entrepreneurs. But that same program, Futurepreneur, actually helps young people aged 18 to 39 get access to a initial loan that is also matched by the Business Development Bank of Canada. So you could start out with about $45,000, but it, I've met a lot of these entrepreneurs. And it isn't so much the investment in money, which is very important, of course, because you need capital to start a business, but it's the mentorship that you get. It is the guidance that you get. It's the advice that you get. Uh, so you, what you get is you get a two-year program that mentors you as you are going through and starting up your business journey. So it's programs like this, it's smart and strategic investments in Canadian businesses that we are looking to work all the time so that we really are fueling and creating a great environment for our small businesses to be successful. So it's lowering taxes for small businesses. It is cutting regulations for small businesses. It is also making sure that we've made the right investment so that we are creating the right environment to help women entrepreneurs grow, to help those successful high tech companies that are growing with, you know, with, with venture capital funding that we've put out there that is now matched uh, by the private sector. So it's really creating a good environment and a competitive environment for our small businesses to be successful in Canada and to also then grow and to grow by accessing those international markets. Well, it looks like the future is very rosy for any anyone who has a mindset to be an entrepreneur or who has ever had a lofty dream of owning their own business. And again, uh, Minister Ng, thank you so much for taking the time out to spend it with us. And uh, thank you again. Thank you so much, Calvin. Yeah, great. You can't see me. I'm going to go to the hotel.
đến đây đã kết thúc. Xin cảm ơn quý vị đã theo dõi chương trình này và hẹn gặp lại quý vị trong những chương trình kế tiếp.